Leading him to end the eight all the words to pull by the prophet. Wind and rain, he was able to stop it. He did die on the cross, he did rise on the third day. Whoever shall receive him should never be first day. He was in the Father and in heaven, and on earth there is devils. His name is Jesus Christ, no one is on his level now. And Mohammed weren't a prophet of God, but guess you are never. That's JS. Good morning. How y'all doing this morning? My goodness. How y'all doing this morning? See y'all. Good morning. Oh, there's your host, Lakeisha M. Johnson. I love that. Like, I love that. That's my girl, Jess. I love Jess. Uh, JC has a joke about us in the morning because he thinks we're not on the phone together. <laughs> he says that I'm on the phone with some guy, but I'm not on the phone with some guy. I'm on the phone with Jess. You better have your prayer for a prayer partner, somebody that'll wake up with you in the morning and pray. Y'all see I ain't got no cute coffee cup. I ran out of coffee at home. <laughs> and since I ran out of coffee at home, I had to start stop by the gas station. The woman was like, wake up. I was like, I'm up. I'm up. Good morning. Good morning. Mm. Welcome. I see y'all coming in. We are Facebook Live, YouTube Live, and Instagram Live. But better than that, we are JoyNet Radio. If you don't have the JoyNet app, go get the JoyNet app. Go subscribe to Coffee and Conversations on the YouTube channel. I'm telling you, Jesus, 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 what's up, D? Oh, uh, I'm telling you, go, go, go get it. Probably after I give this a word today, you're going to understand a little bit more about what um, is happening and being sensitive to the voice of God. Sometimes when a woman or a man of God is telling you something, it's not because uh, they're trying to boss you around or lead you. They're just being sensitive to the voice of the Spirit. And so stay connected, stay in tune. I want to pray. I want to jump right in the Word this morning. I've been up since one. 30 this morning and this word has been stewing in my belly since 1 30 i walked my woke, woke my boys up this morning preaching to myself preaching to them praying um i know without a doubt that this is a word from the lord this morning and uh it's tied into absolutely everything. And so I'm not going to get into an, a, a, a big explanation. We're going to shift right into the word. If you are on Facebook, you are on Instagram, you are on YouTube, do me a favor. Go share this video live right now. Put it in someone else's hands. Um, it's, it's so worth it. It's so worth it. It's so worth it. It's so worth it. Father God, we thank you for this word this morning. We thank you for all that you are doing in our lives. We thank you, Father God, for just a fresh anointing, a fresh flow for who you created us to be, Lord God. We thank you, Father God, for our now season, Lord God. Open the eyes of the heart of the people, Lord God. Open the eyes of their understanding, Lord God, so that they're able to receive this word from you this morning, Lord God, that they receive this word for you, Lord God, that the words of our mouth, the meditation of our heart be acceptable in thy sight, Lord God. You are our strength. You are our redeemer. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you for God. A word today, a word today in Jesus name. Amen. Um, and so, Man, um, I want to just share something with you this morning. Um, I feel like the preacher in me is rising. Often I teach, but I feel like sometimes I can feel like that preacher stirring up in me. And I definitely feel her coming up and bubbling up this morning. I know some of you guys have been really struggling. Like I felt you in my spirit. Uh, I felt the pressure that you've been 
feeling put on you. I felt the consuming, insurmountable weight that you've been feeling on, been feeling, um, on you. Like you've been wanting to quit. And I felt it too. Like you've been just kind of wanting to give up. Like just, you've been wanting to return to your normal state. Some of you have even, even been saying, it's just easier for me to go back to what I'm doing versus me being in this circumstance or situation of following God. Some of y'all have felt that pressure. Some of y'all have felt felt that, that resonation to quit. Well, I canceled the assignment of the enemy off your life. I canceled that resonation of quitting off your life. And I just declare today that you will remain steadfast, immovable, and, and, and abiding in the work of the Lord. I promise you the sacrifices you've made, the things that you have been through, that they have not been in vain. And so this morning, even the things we've been paying attention to, come on, Holy Ghost, help me. The stuff that the God has been taking. See, if you haven't been on Coffee and Conversations, if you're just logging on, if you've just been getting tapped in to us the last few weeks, that's why I've been telling you, go to the YouTube channel. Go subscribe. Go back. Catch some of the old videos because you're all of us, of, of, of us that have been on, those of you that are new to JoyNet Radio, you're going to see what God has been doing. You're going to understand what he's been preparing us for. And I and I now understand why he needed to talk to us last week about our self-esteem. And I understand now why he wanted to talk to us about having the mind of Christ. And I understand now we, why we've been having kingdom conversations with him. It's because of the shift. It's time to shift. Everything that you've been doing, everything that's been happening in your life, God has just been preparing you for the shift. He's been preparing you to shift into something greater. I remember last year, or even maybe the last two years, I started telling my ministry team, I said, just be prepared, get prepared, get ready, um, take care of yourself, eat well, get enough rest, make sure you're doing what you need to do for yourself, spirit, soul, and body. Deal with yourself, deal with your mind. I just started telling them this. I'm telling you there's something coming this way that you, you've you got to be ready for. And if you pay attention to what's been going on around us, it's been preparation for the shift. It's time for you to shift. And I'm talking about this time. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what this shift means. Um, this summer, I d discovered that I liked to climb mountains. I started climbing pin Pinnacle Mountains. And the very first time I climbed, it was a little bit rough. It was a little bit rocky. Um, it was a little bit unnerving. Uh, I had never been in that time, that type of territory before. I had never climbed a mountain. I had never been in this position before. I had never um, experienced this before, but I was focused this summer on experiencing and having optimal health. And so as I began to focus on optimal health, I was like, man, I'm going to get myself in a position. I'm going to begin to climb Pinnacle Mountain. And so I began this process to climb Pinnacle Mountain. And the first time that I went up the mountain, I'm going to tell you, it was uh, it was a trip. It was hard. I felt pressure. And I had been working out for years. But when I began to make this climb up this mountain, um, there was an endurance. There was a strength that I needed to get up the mountain. So the first time I climbed up the mountain, it took me a little bit longer. But I finally made it to the top. But there was some things that I learned from the mountain. One of the very first things that I learned when climbing in the mountain was to have on the right kind of shoes. Like I learned to have on, because here's what I discovered. What was available at one level, the support that was available at one level, what was happening on one level, how balanced it was on one level. Um, as I began to climb the mountain, that same balance wasn't available. See, when you're beginning to shift into new territory, it's going to be rocky. It's not going to be steady. It's not going to be un be comfortable. And so I was learning with wisdom as I begin to make more climbs and position myself to climb the mountain. The terrain changed. What was at one level was not what was available at the other level. And so the more time I spent climbing the mountain, the more familiar I became with the mountain. And I had to adjust my thought process in climbing this mountain. I couldn't wear cute shoes on this mountain. I couldn't wear cute shoes in this mountain. 
I couldn't put on heels. I couldn't have my sneakers that was fly. As a matter of fact, I had to go buy a specific kind of shoes to be able to wear, to be able to climb this mountain. There was a different endurance that was required of me to climb this mountain. And I didn't understand everything, but God had been preparing me the entire time to climb this mountain. And I learned some things like while climbing this mountain. I learned to not pay attention to the people around me because of they were it, it, it could be distracted but i also learned in this mountain that there were some people in position to encourage me see you got to feel this and understand this in the spirit there was a shift coming in my life there was a shift and how how did i how would i begin to either fathom that a mountain climb would prepare me for a spiritual shift in my life so i began to learn how to climb this mountain and i was climbing the mountain all summer long so i want to show you what i want to show you what a shift is. I want to show you what a shift is. A shift is a change of direction. The way you do things, a change in your focus. Uh, for some of you, if you pushed the shift on the computer, it's a change in a character. A shift can take you from lower level to all caps. You better understand what I'm saying in the spirit. You better get this this morning. There is a shift coming. That is why you've been uncomfortable. That's why you've been feeling like you've wanted to quit because there is a shift coming. God is about to take you. He's already, for some of you, taking you from one position position to the next position. A shift implies some kind of movement. And as I will begin to make my ascent up the mountain, it was a different type of shift. What happened for me at lower level terrain wasn't the same as what happened for me at upper level terrain. And anybody who's climbed, climbed before even knows that the air begins to change in a shift. I remember one time one of my girls called me. She was like, I'm going to go and I'm going to climb this mountain with you. And I was like, okay. I was like, come on. So we started climbing the mountain and we got halfway up the mountain. And she said, hey, LMJ, I'm not going to be able to go any further with you, my God. She said, but I don't want you to leave me behind. Just leave me right here. And so I began to continue to climb the mountain. And then I began to go back down. When I came back down the mountain, she was at the bottom of the mountain waiting me, waiting for me. But I want to show you something very powerful about this. She did not give up. She did not give up because she didn't make it up the mountain with me the first time. As a matter of fact, she prepared herself. She she began to work on herself. And you know what she wound up doing? Sending me pictures of where she climbed scale and made it to the top of her of her mountain. And a few weeks ago, because she serves on my ministry team as well, a few weeks ago, she called me and she sent me a text message and she said, I get it all now. I wasn't ready and prepared, but now I'm ready to go. See, she had gotten in her mindset that it was an all or nothing. Like it was an all or nothing moment. She had made up her mind. She said, I've made up my mind to sell out to this thing. This thing isn't about you. This thing isn't about your name. This is the, this thing is about the ministry that God it called us to. Why? Because it was a shift. It is time for some of you to shift. That's why you've been uncomfortable. That's why you can't have the friends that you used to have. That's why you can't go to the places that you used to go. Why? Because everything around you is shifting. It's changing direction. It's changing momentum. That's why even some of you have felt a shaking, my God, in the shift. You felt a shaking. So I asked the Lord, I said, tie this in to everything that we've been working on. He said, that's why I started dealing with y'all about the mind of Christ. That's why I started talking to y'all about kingdom. That's why I've been telling y'all to get whole spirit, soul, and body. Why? Because there is a shift. There is a monumental shift going on in your life. That's why I talked to you last week. And I got to get to this last component. I got to get to this last component about self-esteem. He said, that's why I started talking to you about your self-esteem. So that you guys can be prepared, Lakeisha, for where you got to go. You don't have time to be comparing yourself in a shift. You don't have time to compare yourself in a shift. You don't have time to sit around um, with low self-esteem. You don't have time to be bitter. You don't have time to be, be discouraged in a shift. See, a shift can be a noun or a verb. A shift can be a noun or a verb. You can either make a shift, right? You can make a shift or either you can be the verb and you can just shift. See, in a shift, you don't have time to try to figure it out. You don't have time to try to conceive 
receive this in your natural man. That's why he's been saying, draw, I'll draw. If you draw close to me, I'll draw. That's why when he started teaching us, if you remain in me and I remain in you, come on, as I'm pruning you, all the pruning you've been experiencing, all the weariness you've been experiencing, all the things that's been happening. See, even in the shaking, when a, when God begins to shake you, he, he's shifting you. And what he's doing is he's shaking off all the dead weight. There was some things that had to fall off of you. That's why your job transitioned. That's why your money got funny. That's why your friends got funny. That's why situations that you thought you were tied to for the rest of your life went away. Why? Because he was shaking. Because he was trying to get off the de all the dead weight off of you. Before I started preparing to climb the mountain, he had already had me walking. He had already had me swimming. He had already had me losing weight. So that when I began to make the ascent up the mountain i could i could handle the endurance for what he was calling me to do you thought he was taking you away from something but he wasn't he was shifting you you thought he was trying to uh you thought he was punishing you but he wasn't he was shifting you he was shifting you he was putting you in position so that you could receive absolutely everything for him that's why he said to you i got to renew your mind that's why he said i got to show you i got to show you what steadfastness looks like that's why he was calling you to fast. That's why he was calling you to tithe. That's why he was calling you to show. So why? Because there was a shift. There was a shift coming all along. He's been preparing you for a shift. He's been preparing you for a greater. He's been telling you to lay aside the dead way, abandon the person. See, some of y'all need to start prophesying to everything around you right now. Shift, shift, shift. I talked to my sons this morning. I said, you will shift. I started talking to my wallet this morning. You will shift. I start talking to my bank account this morning. You will shift. Some of y'all start to talk to the person next to you. You will shift. Talk to the person that ain't even supposed to be in your bed and tell them you will shift. Why? Because it is time for you to shift. It is time for you to shift. You cannot remain the same. You cannot remain the same. You cannot stay in the same position. You can't continue to stay connected to a dead thing. Why? Because you need to shift. If there is anything dead on you, I we talked about this the other day. And if anybody connected to my ministry, they will see what God has been doing for us. That's why we're in on Bible study. We're studying the book on wholeness. Why? Because God has to have you whole for what's about to come. You don't have time to have low self-esteem. You don't have time to be comparing yourself to somebody else. You don't have time for your mind to be all over the place. That's why he's been saying, press in my word. That's why you can't watch the same things that you need. You got to shift. Shift implies some kind of movement in a different direction. When you are shifting, it is some kind of movement in a different direction. If you are shifting, you cannot stay the same. It is time. Man, if I were you right now, I begin to declare to everything around me, shift. It is time for a shift. It isn't me. And I'm some of y'all got to move abruptly. That's why I made some decisions I made. It wasn't about me calculating or waiting. I had to be so sensitive to the voice of Lord when he said shift that I move abruptly. Some of y'all got to change position. Some of y'all going to have to change your direction. Direction. Some of y'all going to have to move around. Some of y'all going to have to have the people that are around you move around. You're going to have to change your quality of thinking. Some of you have been in such a poverty mindset. God can't even put the wealth and riches that he needs to put in your hands because you won't even change your quality of thinking. You've been thinking so small scale. I was talking to a friend of mine a week ago and he said he was sitting in a meeting with some millionaires and he said the Lord started dealing with him with his mindset. See, some of y'all got to shift your quality of thinking. You saw radio and the Lord has been trying to put you in a position to see television. You saw a local ministry and God has been trying to give you a global perspective. That's why he had to deal with those things in you that were rotting, that were decaying, that were denying. That's why he told you to go pull your teeth. He told you to fix your bad habits. He told you to get rid of that person that you don't have any business being tied to. Why? Because there was a shift coming. There was a shift coming. He wasn't denying you. He wasn't stripping you. He wasn't taking things from you. He was shifting you. He was positioning you. He was exchanging one thing for another. That's what the shift is about. That's what the shift is about. He wasn't abandoning you. He wasn't leaving you. He was settling you in a different position. 
When you, when you mountain climb, you got to have on the right shoes. You got to have on the right clothing. You can't have a whole lot of baggage if you're going to make it to the top in a specific amount of time. And see, my mountain ain't your mountain, and your mountain ain't my mountain. That's why he said, don't compare. I asked him, I said, Lord, this all makes sense now. He said, yes, Lakeisha. That's why I was dealing with your self-esteem last year, last week. That wasn't just my self, your self-esteem. That was my self-esteem. He said, I was trying to put some systems and some things in place so that when when I begin to shift you in this new arena, your esteem is high, that you trust me, that you don't resolve that you are the truth. That's why some of your money been so funny. You have become so reliant upon you. You have become so reliant upon you that you forgot about me. He said, no, it's time for a shift. It's time for a shift. This ain't no little word. That's why he dealt with us last week about being jealous. You ain't got time to be jealous. You're going to walk into an arena of some people who are bigger than you. You got to be firm in what the word said. Why? Because it's time to shift. It's time to shift. It's time for shift. The last little component to dealing with your low self-esteem self is your sensitivity to criticism. Your sensitivity to criticism. If you don't deal with this sensitivity to criticism, if nobody can tell you something. When I shifted into radio, Man, I'm in here with a good... JC got stellar awards. This radio station got stellar awards. So when I sat before the man of God and he started telling me, fine-tune this, look at this, I didn't have time to be sensitive or think that he was criticizing me. No, this man has been preparing me for the shift. Add this to your intro, Lakeisha. Watch how you do this on screen, Lakeisha. Move this around, Lakeisha. So I'm telling you, this last component to self-esteem is you ain't got time to be overly sensitive. You ain't got time to be overly sensitive. Deal with your comparisons. Deal with your jealousy. And now you don't have time to be sensitive. You don't have time to be sensitive. Forget what mama them said about you. Open your ears and your, your, your heart to receive those around you that God is trying to connect you to you for the shift. It's for the shift. If can't nobody tell you nothing, you're not going to be able to shift. You're not going to be able to receive what God is trying to do for you. Why? Because there's a grooming process. He prunes those for the next level. Some of y'all been begging him, asking him, declaring, decreeing, wanting to be at the next level, and you won't even go through the pruning process. You won't even connect to those people around you that were sent to spiritually groom you. Here are some signs that you are extra sensitive, anxiety, depression, anger, shame, extreme defensiveness when you're faced with criticism of any kind may indicate that you have a lot high level of sensitivity. What this does for you is it negates the shift. It keeps you from walking in the shift. That's why he dealt with you on that. You shifting, you moving. You can't afford to have the same mindset that you had last time. You can't afford to do what you did before. You can't afford to be connected to people who are in dead places. I don't care what looks popular. It's about what the voice of the Lord is saying to you. Why? Because it's your time to shift. There's a shift upon you. There's a shift on your marriage. There's a shift on your ministry. There's a shift on your children. There's a shift on your business. It is time for you to shift shift. It is time for you to shift. You can't stay comfortable no more. You can't keep doing the same thing. You can't be overindulging in food. Why? Because there's time for you to shift. Some of y'all need to move around right now. Some of y'all need to pack your bags and say goodbye to him today. You were married to him anyway or her today. You weren't married to him with her anyway. Some of y'all need to deal with your bad credit. Some of y'all need to deal with the presenting issues around you. Why? Because God is trying to shift you. He's trying to prepare you for the greater point that he's trying to get you to. That's what this whole last year is about. You can't afford to stay where you are. I couldn't afford to rest at the bottom of the mountain. And even though it hurt me to leave my friend behind, she encouraged me. See, a real friend is going to do that. Baby, keep moving. Keep going off the mountain. Let me catch my breath. She encouraged me to keep moving up the mountain. She didn't hate on me. She didn't talk about me. She, didn't, she got in position and she began to pray for me. And then she began to let the Lord deal with her about her own self. And then you know what happened? A few weeks ago, she called me. She said, baby, I'm ready for the shift. I'm ready for the shift. Why? You ain't got to pull on nobody in this season. You ain't got to pride nobody in this season. You ain't got to even try to make nobody get. That's why the Lord started talking to us about fasting. That's why the Lord started talking to us about prayer. That's why the Lord started dealing with us about our character issues. Why? He was preparing you for the shift. 
that he was preparing you for the shift. He was preparing you for the greater. I couldn't come on the radio. JC talked to me about radio two years ago. I wasn't ready two years ago. I wouldn't have been prepared. I wouldn't have been able to receive him two years ago. I wouldn't have been able to let him groom me and prepare me for where God was trying to take me two years ago. No, but now, baby, you better say shift. It's a shift. It's a shift. It's spiritual. It's supernatural. That's why you got to have a mind of Christ. Let this mind be in you. So y'all know how I feel about qualifying stuff with the word. Uh, you know how I feel. I asked the Lord. I said, I need you to qualify this word today for the people. Qualify this word. He gave me one scripture to qualify this word. And my God, Philippians 4.19, will supply every need according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. It ain't on you no more, Lakeisha. It ain't on you no more, Lakeisha. It ain't on you no more, Jessica. It ain't on you no more, Shonda. It ain't on you no more, Valerie. It ain't on you no more, Vanessa. My God shall supply every need according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. He said, I got you. I got every need. That's every gap, everything you're missing. If he called you to something, he's got to provide you provide for it. Why? It's necessary in the shift. I dare you to, I dare you today to start prophesying to everything around you to shift to shift, to shift. Don't lay dormant no more. Become sober. Be bold. Be vigilant. Lean not into thy own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him. He will direct your path and shift. Go on and shift. Shift into the more. Stop being scared of the full potential of what's inside of you and make this shift. Make this shift. Prophesy to everything around you to shift. Shift, shift, shift. That's all you got to do. Change, shifts, changing, making a systematic historical change. Let me tell you something. When I climb that mountain, I don't have time to look behind me. I don't have time to pay attention. One time I was climbing with a friend of mine. He had never been up the mountain and he said something very significant. He said, you lead. That's been some of y'all problems. You ain't been letting the right person lead you up the mountain. You've been so busy, my God, and worry about whether or not you're you going to get to the mountain first. We all going to get up there if the right person is leading. You just got to shift. My God, you got to shift. God is going to take care of everything. He's going to take care of your marriage. It, shift. Don't worry over that no more. Stop talking to your husband about them same things you've asked him. Stop talking to your wife. Just shift. Shift into prayer. Shift into the more. Shift. Why? Because God's going to supply every need according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. That's abundantly. That's exceedingly. That's above all anything and everything that you could ask or more. Why? because it is time for you to shift my god it's time for the shift i thank you lord god for your word i thank you for shifting i thank you for shifting our mindset i thank you for the people of god today i thank you for joining that radio today i thank you for every persecution i've been through i thank you for every dollar that i thought i lost i think see y'all thought the pain and the persecution was something but what god was doing for you he was shifting you back into his womb he who dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide in the shadow of the almighty he was shifting he was shifting one thing out of the way and shifting you right back into his presence because he knew you had a dependency on something other than him so he had to carve it he had to take it away he had to prune it he had to pluck it out i thank god for my persecution i thank god for the days i was hungry i thank god for the days it didn't add up i thank god for it. i promise you i do because i know during everything there was a shift coming and in that shift that shaking he was getting away all the dead way so lord we thank you we bless your name we magnify you we glorify you and we thank you for the shift i dare i declare a shift over you don't you give up that resignation to fit to quit that was not god that was the enemy he wanted you to quit because he knew if you would have gave up you'd have never climbed your mountain you'd have never moved into your position of influence he was scared for you to shift he was scared for you to shift. That's why some people around you looking at you like you, they scared for you to shift. Because why? You're going to prove to them that God is really God. You're going to prove to them that God is really God. So I thank you, Lord God, for 
the ship. My God, we are just about out of time. We are about out of time. I thank the Lord for the word this morning on the sh- for the ship. I thank you for who you are and what you're doing in our lives. If you want to know more about the ministry, log on to the website, LakeishaMJohnson.com. I'll see you back here in the morning. Y'all deal with being overly sensitive. The word of the Lord went forth this morning. I'll see you back here in the morning at 5 a.m. Love, peace, and blessings.